I was comparing it to Narnia. And remember in the movie Narnia where they, they the, the witch, the ice, the ice queen, she was losing her power. And so in the land of Narnia, the ice was beginning to melt and the snow was beginning to melt and people were becoming more brave and people were starting to be happy again and started having hope. That is exactly how it is in the Capitol and in the halls of Congress. I have noticed a difference in a lot of the staff that actually work in the building every single day. I've noticed a difference in the Capitol police officers. I've noticed a difference in even Democrat members of Congress who used to never say hello to me, but are actually smiling and starting to say hello. See, Nancy Pelosi is the ice queen and her reign is <laughs> ending very, very soon. Amen. Okay, the Nancy Pelosi is the ice queen. Ice queens are cool people. No word on whether the ice queen could take down a vampire, take down a werewolf for them working together, I don't know. But I am loving the right wing trying to evoke these pop culture things that they only sort of understand. She did better, by the way, in utilizing the Chronicles of Narnia as a metaphor than she did a few months ago when she tried to invoke the Pirates of the Caribbean. She didn't do a great job there. But um, look, there, there's a lot there about supposedly everything being better for Republicans. And hey, they're about to take over the House. So I buy that Republicans are probably feeling good about the fact that they're soon gonna be in power. And they're gonna use that power to stop literally anything from being done that would benefit the American people. Um, the part that I have a bit of an issue with is believing that Democrats are all of a sudden being very friendly to Marjorie Greene because they lost power. I don't know, Brett, what do you think about that? They don't, they don't need, well, I, I would be friendly to Marjorie Taylor Greene if I were a Democrat so that she votes against Kevin McCarthy and it just gets real weird in there mm -hmm. in the final vote. I mean, that's the only thing. And it's like another potential reason people might be nice to Marjorie Taylor Greene is in the midterms, it became pretty clear that her breed of right winger is less powerful. So it's less terrifying when someone gets to be that like, like flavor of banal cartoonishness. Mm -hmm. So but hold on, let's really fast. Are Democrats smiling at her more now? What no, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, so I thought you were you were spinning kind of a convincing uh, argument there, but you it's don't think at all. It's possible they laugh at her and she thinks that's smiling rather than just being like, "Oh my God, you're an insane person." It's just like, "Ha ha!" Now I can laugh to keep from crying, but it's fine. You're not as much of a threat. Yeah, yeah. So I look. I I don't necessarily believe it. I don't. Maybe there's some like centrist Democrats that are happy that they're now not gonna need to take votes that make them uncomfortable or whatever. Maybe they're happier being submissive to the Republicans in the House. I don't know, but I don't believe that there are a lot of people smiling at her. And and by the way, she's feeling good. She's feeling excited or whatever. We should remember they're not gonna be able to actually pass anything. And maybe some of these investigations of Joe Biden, Dr. Fauci and Adam Schiff or whatever, maybe some of those will be damaging the Democrats. I think. There's a pretty good chance it's gonna be damaging the Republicans because it's gonna make them look like buffoons for the next few years. Um, so we'll have to see if in a few years she's feeling as great about this period as she is as she enters it. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.